Since its consecration as a national cemetery in 1866, Jefferson Barracks has been a memorial to the service of America's veterans. Where Confederate soldiers, Tuskegee Airmen, and our most recent veterans rest side by side. For the past 16 years, Chaplain Andre de Arden of the Missouri Army National Guard has performed nearly 1,500 military funeral honors there, more than any other military chaplain in our nation's history. For chaplains, it is their duty to help repay a debt of honor from a grateful nation. I have a debt to pay to your loved one, and that is to be here at your loved one's loss because uh, they serve faithfully for our country and we needed to be here to support you. So I'm paying a debt that I owe. Missouri National Guard Chaplain DeArden recently retired from a career supporting the family of the deceased and conducting services for the Missouri Military Funeral Honors Program. So I help organize the planning of the service and when they arrive at the cemetery, everything's already laid out for them. And then I'm in charge of the service and I would do the religious part, scripture reading. The ceremony consists of folding and presentation of the American flag, the sounding of taps, and a three volley rifle salute by a detail of uniformed members of the military services. The military honors do their part, and I be the last one to salute the flag and shake the family's hand. That concludes the service. Chaplain Darden served a total of 20 years in the military. He began his career in 1974, serving in the Navy as a radioman. After his four-year enlistment, he left to follow his calling to become a pastor. He graduated from seminary school and started several churches. In the late 90s, Darden was working with United Methodist Church where he met a chaplain from the Missouri National Guard. And so we became friends and he asked me to join the Army National Guard as a chaplain. So I agreed and I've been in the Guard ever since. He was commissioned in February of 1999, following a 21-year break in his military service and was assigned to provide chaplain support for the Missouri Military Funeral Honors Program at Jefferson Barracks. Chaplain DeArden has served three tours in combat zones, deploying twice to Iraq, once in 2004 and again in 2011. During his second deployment, he filled a chaplain vacancy with a Massachusetts National Guard unit for a year-long tour of duty. So when they were getting ready to end their deployment, uh, the state of uh, Louisiana came, then they came without a chaplain. And so I just offered my services to remain there with them. The Louisiana National Guard unit accepted his offer and he remained an additional year serving as chaplain for the newly arrived unit. Chaplain De Arden says he wants to continue to serve even after he retires. After I leave, I would not be replaced. I started an organization I call Honoring Heroes, and it's a not-for-profit organization that I hope to con connect families with military ch retired military chaplains who can come and fill the void. We asked the chaplain what he has taken away from the thousands of grieving loved ones that he has served. He had some parting words of wisdom for the next generation of military chaplains. Show that you care. Express it in words that you care. Because it's a horrible thing to have a loved one to die and you never told them you love them. You never told them how you appreciate them. You never told them that they were uh, your hero, your mentor. We need to tell each other that now because we don't know what tomorrow may bring.